Well, praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you again tonight. We, as you, we always thank God for you. Appreciate your prayer that that you continue to pray for us and for your brothers and sisters, and you know, praying for our nation and just offering up prayers every day to God that maybe somehow we can touch Him or we can find grace in His eyes, find mercy with Him that He would move answer you know so many needs out there so many problems out there you know we don't know them all and we can, we don't come in contact with them all but we can pray the Bible says the effective fervent prayers of a righteous person avail as much so I encourage you tonight to pray I certainly appreciate your prayer those of you are praying for me every day I'm trying to pray for you every day and I certainly appreciate it because I believe the word of God that says that your prayers avail as much so I, we have to stand on that we have to believe that and I pray that we'll just keep putting prayers up for one another. God will help us. Whatever situation we're in, whatever circumstance we're in, that the Lord, that he'll help us out of it. He'll see us through these things and bring us out of it. And I really appreciate the Lord. And I thank God for you tuning in tonight. And uh, We're going to be speaking to you in a few minutes. But we're going to go and pray, pray. But I really thank God for you that you you, you, you got a mind to hold on. You're still cleaving to, you know, to all you. Uh, thing that you're going through, you still got a mind to cleave to God because you know, uh, Peter told Jesus that to whom shall we go? When Peter asked Jesus, will you leave also? Because man, I'm telling you, man, you finna go through some stuff. You finna, you gotta eat my flesh, man. Meaning, man, you got to, you're gonna have to go through some stuff. And Jesus asked Peter, will you also go away? Peter said, to whom shall we go? Now I have the words of eternal life, so to whom shall we go, folks? There's nobody to go but unto Jesus. If we go anywhere other, anywhere other than Jesus, you're getting in trouble. You, you're going to be shipwrecked. Because you're going to run into the arms of Satan. So I encourage you tonight, and I thank God for you that amidst all your trials and tests, you still got this mind to cleave to Jesus. We're going to go in prayer for a moment. Ask Lord, He would bless the service tonight. If you're speaking to us, Father, thank you tonight. Holy Master of Heaven, Son of God, I do thank you, Father, for being our Savior, for being our healer, for being our deliverer, for being the one to lift up our heads. And I want to give you praise tonight, Lord. I want to bow before you, as I try to do each day. I try to bow my body, my mind, my spirit, my heart, my life, my health. Bow all our possessions, even so with the people, I bow them before you and I bow all their possessions, Lord, in acknowledging you and giving you honor. We thank you for being there, Lord. You said your eye was upon the righteous and your ear was open to their cry. Well, thank you for those scriptures. God, thank you for all the scripture given for us, Lord, that we through patience and comfort of the scripture, we can have hope. Well, that's why our hope is in the word of God, in you. You said you have the word. Our hope is in your word, what you told us, Jesus, because we get in a mess, we get in trouble, and we need help. You told us, I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. I'll be with you always, even until the ends of the earth. God, we need that. We need that, God. We try to stand and believe it, God. And I thank you for speaking those words. They have no words written in the Bible. Well, that you will never leave us. And I thank you. Speak tonight to the people's heart. Or the Lord, there may be standing in need of this or some kind of way. There may be those out there that, that never uh, listen to us. God, some kind of way, let it so, make it so that they'll be able to tune in tonight and God, they have an ear to hear your words. And I ask God, you a bless me. Speak to their hearts and God, give them that that they need, Lord, to continue on with you to hold on. In the name of Jesus Christ, cover this service tonight with your blood. Father, and hide it behind your cross. In the name of Jesus, we ask it to be so, and we amen it. Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank God for you tonight. We appreciate you. We're going to speak to you for a few minutes here from the word of the Lord. I think I got to speak to you from the Bible. And the Lord, and I believe he honors his word, because you say what he honors his word. His word won't fall to the ground. And I know God honors his word. We pray that God bless us to speak it. Speak it faithfully that uh those that hear, we pray God give us something that those that hear. And I thank God, you know, uh, you know, Donnie, he putting, we got these stuff on, he said on Instagram now, and 
TikTok, just little tidbits, just a few words, you know, just maybe to encourage somebody. And I, and I thank God that, that you know, he opened up the door for just, you know, not a full message on, on Instagram or maybe TikTok, but just a, just maybe a minute, 30 seconds, a minute or so that speaks some word that maybe can help somebody. We pray that God said his word would not come back to him void. So we want to believe that the word we're speaking, and you know what, we're speaking for Jesus. We're not in ourselves. We don't strive to be in ourselves. We're striving to speak for Jesus. We're striving to strengthen. Like Jesus told Peter, we're striving to strengthen our brother. We're striving to motivate people, to persuade people. This is what we're trying to persuade people. Man, to try Jesus. If you haven't tried, try Jesus. We persuade them to just depend upon, look to Jesus. The Bible says he's our everything. You know? He's our all in all. So we, we, we encourage him, try to persuade people, convince people to give Jesus a try. Turn to him. Try him. Sometimes we haven't tried everything else and, and it ain't working for us. It's going to fail through for us. So if I can persuade people, encourage people, and if you got him, I encourage you not to hold on to him. And I've been praying, as God help me to put my whole trust in you, my faith in you, because I, I need that. But I want, I want to have my com complete faith, my total trust in you. I said, God, you help me to get to that place in you. I desire to be that place where I won't let stuff bother me. I just be believing God that His Word, what His Word said, is He's going to be there. We're going to speak to you uh, tonight for a few minutes. We appreciate your prayer. Keep all those up in prayer that uh, have requested prayer. Keep them up in prayer. And the Lord will uh, do what He needs to do for them. Uh, do what he, they asked Him of to do. You know, if not be an evil thing. And being this way, we pray that God will do it for him. From the book of 1 Peter 4. And I thank God for you. Bear along with me for a few minutes tonight. We're going to try to speak the word of the Lord to you. And try to encourage you. 1 Peter 4. Chapter, uh, verses 12 and 13. Listen. It says, Beloved, be not, beloved think it not strange. Concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. And though some strange thing happened unto you. The Bible said these, don't think it's strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try us. Sometimes we're going through things that's going to try us. And the Bible tells us in Peter, tells us, don't think it's strange. Concerning the trial, they, they are the trials. They are the testers. They are the provers. You know, God said, I'm going to find out what's in your heart. So we don't think it's strange because we got to go through problems, go through Bible tells us in Hebrew, look to run with patience. That race that is set before us, looking under Jesus, the author and the finish of Bible, there's a race that's set before us. And the Bible going to declare that he's the author and the finish of our faith. So we don't need to think it's strange concerning the thing that we are going through. The Bible said in Romans, we are been predestined to be conformed to his image. And if God be for us, who can be against you? Make them do what you're going through. If Jesus is for you, who can be against you? We have been predestined. Told us in Isaiah, I have been made. Ain't no God like me. You know? Man, I declared the end from the beginning. So everything is declared. He laid this laid a, 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 this path out before us. So we don't need to think it's strange because we're going through problems and stuff like that. Don't think it's strange. This is to try you. The Bible says, don't, this is to try you. Listen. Beloved, think it's not strange concerning the fire of trial, which is to try you as some strange thing. Ain't nothing strange happening to us. And God, God tells us to run it, run it, run it. Patient this race that God have laid out before us. You know, don't be thinking it's strange. God's in charge. He knows what he's doing. He said, I'll be with you always, even to the ends of the earth. So don't think it's strange. Man, these five trials that's, that's out there is to try you, it's to test you, it's to prove you. Because look, God's going to find out what's in our heart. And I'd rather go through trials and tests now where God can purge me, where He can purify me, where I can get everything out of my heart that I ain't supposed to be there. Let me go through something that'll purge me. The Bible says, in your patience possesses your soul. So don't think it's strange. Listen, He said, but what? But, but, but rejoice. Inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding 
great joy. Folks, run with patience. Run with patience, this ready. Run with patience, this ready. That is, master, that is set before you. Looking unto Jesus, the author, who have declared the end from the beginning. Thank God, he, he paid the way for us, didn't it? So we don't need to think it's strange. We just got to run with patience. The Bible said, listen here. That the, if God be for you, I don't care what you go through. If God be for you, he said, who can be against you? You know? We've been predestined. Make no difference what trial. You've been predestined to be a cleave to Jesus. Been predestined to make it. To be conformed. We're going to be like Jesus. We're a cleave. We're a whole on. The Bible tells us in the man to, to, uh, to tell us to, oh, uh, Oh, let's give first minute 15. But we endure. Hold on. I can't, can't pronounce this. Remember the scripture to my mind right now, but the first minute 15, 58. Yeah. And we hold on. Thank God and be step well, be steadfast, unmovable to say. Always about be steadfast for unmovable. Don't think it's strange. Don't get upset. Don't think that God ain't there. He ain't helped you. But be steadfast and be unmovable. We're going to go through our trials. We're going to go through our tests. We're going to go through it. everything that God has laid out there for us, for us to go through. We're going to go through it. But if we stay with Jesus, Jesus is going to see us through it. So don't think it's strange that the things that go through that some strange happening to you. But your faith is on trial. My faith is being tested. God's going to find out what's in our heart. And he's going to do it the way he has to do it. He's going to do it the way that he's going to know, thank God, that, that we ain't going we ain't gonna to betray him. We ain't gonna let, we gonna, that we ain't going to deny him for worldly good, for worldly pleasure, but he's going to send stuff our way. And I pray, God, don't let me think it's strange. God, help me to, to look to you. And believe you, Jehoshaphat, we don't know what to do. But our eyes are upon you. You know that uh, Jehaziel, the word of the Lord came to Jehaziel in, in Chronicles. Told Jehoshaphat, said, listen here, be still. Stand still. Watch the Sabbath of the Lord. This battle is not yours, but this, is the battle, this battle is the Lord. So listen here, this battle is I. And you ain't got to fight in this battle. Thank God, Jesus, I'll fight for you. Thank God, he's a man strength and made perfect in weakness. My grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in weakness, Paul. So don't worry about it, Paul. I got everything under control. Think I have declared the end from the beginning. So all of what you do, Paul, is just hold on. All God wants us to do is to hold on. And be steadfast. And be unmoved. Stop thinking it's strange. Think that God have declared the end from the beginning. He, he know what he's doing. But we, got, we just got to pray, God. Sometimes we question God. We don't need to question Him. Sometimes we question God because we have to go through this and go through that. But the Lord tells us, I'm in charge. I'm the first. I'm the last. I'm the beginning. I'm the end. I have laid the foundation. I paved out the way. Thank God you'll follow me. He told us that in, in Luke. Luke 9, I believe. He said, listen here. And this young man went to Jesus. Master, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus, let me tell you something, man. The foxes have holes. Birds of the air all have nests. But I don't have them. I lay my head. Think I said, you're going to follow me? Thank God you make your mind. Thank God. Let them know right now. I ain't got nowhere to lay my head. You may not have where to sleep. I don't know during Jesus' public ministry, he didn't have no, no particular place to stay. One place to the other. But we got to be steadfast. We got to not think it's strange. Jesus telling this young man here, don't think it's strange now. If you don't have nowhere to lay your head, you don't have no bed to sleep in. You may have to sleep under the trees. Lay on, on on pine needles and and, got, and drink branch water. So don't think it's strange. But if you follow me, I will purge you. If you follow me, I will purify you. If you follow me, I, I will strengthen you. If you follow me, I will encourage you. If you follow me, I'll see about you. I'll watch over you. Although you're going through some trials and tests, I will watch over you. But you make up your mind, you're going to follow me. And that you don't think it's strange and get weary and well done and turn back. But I'll see about you. So don't think it's strange. Listen what Job, this is what Job, Job, book of Job 20, 23. Job 23, verse 13. And I quoted a lot. 
Job 25, 13, he said, but he is in one mind, and who can turn God is in one mind, folks, and who can turn him? He said, I declare the end from the beginning. I laid the spade out the way. He's in one mind. And who can turn him? You can't turn him. With God, he said, for the run with patience is raised that is said before. God's in one mind, the Bible says. And who can turn this thing? He have set out a, 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 a path for us. To, we got to run with patience. He ain't finna change the thing for us. He said, you're going to run this, this race that I've set before you, this path that I've given you. You're going to run it. I'm not finna change it. But I will help you. If you decide you want to uh, walk with me, I will help you. I will strengthen you. Then God, I, he said, my yoke is easy. My brain is on. I will see a way for you to come through this stuff. God is in one mind, Job said. And who, look, God is in one mind. And who can change it? God ain't finna turn things around for us. I mean, he'll turn things around. He's not finna change his will for us. He's not finna change his plan for us. And we got to submit ourselves unto him. We could be, be conformed to him. The Bible says, but not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the ruin of my own. We got to be transformed. God ain't finna change for us. He got a way laid out, but this way God got laid out for us, it leads to salvation. It leads to peace. It leads to joy. It leads to comfort. He said, the past I got laid out for you. God's in one mind, Job said. And who can change it? Listen. And what his soul desire, even that he do it. What God's soul desire, even that he... Don't think it's strange. The Bible says what God's soul desire, that's what he does. He do that. He do it. Whatever I desire, I do. God said, I got this there fixed. Thank God. I got it, man, from beginning to the end. I got the thing laid out. And what I desire, that's what I'm going to... If I desire that you go through trouble, you're going through it. Can nobody change it? But I will see you through your trouble. I will help you through your trouble. So you, you make up your mind... Thank God that you're going to go with Jesus and nothing else. And Father, I'm going with you. I'm going with you all the way. But you help my mind. You help my speech. You help me. Not to study the course. So don't think it's strange because you're having trouble. Because you're going through tests and trial. This is to try you. Jesus is going to know what we made of. One scripture say that God sent that storm of wind and and they blew that wind, beat up on our house, and the foundation discovered. God's going to find out what we build up on. Are we build up on pleasure, fun, finance, prosperity, a material stuff? Are we build up on the gospel of Jesus Christ? Upon the faith of Jesus Christ? Build up on the apostle doc, Jesus Christ? He's going to find out what, what our foundation, what kind of foundation we build up on. And that foundation we build up on fun and pleasure, excitement, and material stuff. Thank God we're going to suffer loss. But you're going to find out what kind of foundation we are built up on. So don't think it's strange. God ain't forsook you. He ain't forgotten you because you're going through stuff. Maybe you just got to be willing to follow Jesus. We got to be willing to say yes. We sing that song, Lord, I go. Lord, I go, send me. Man, we got to say, Lord, here I am. Help me to hold on to you. Help me to cleave to you. Help me to stop thinking it's strange. Help me to stop complaining. Help me to stop whining. And God said, listen, I'll protect you. He said, I'll supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. So we got to stop complaining. We got to stop thinking it's strange because you don't have what your neighbor have. You know, you don't live where your neighbor live. And God, look, look, don't think it's strange. God is molding and making you. Listen to what he says. But God's in one mind. And who can turn him? And what his soul desired, even that he do, listen. For the Lord, but he said, for he performeth, talking about the Lord, God, for he performeth the thing that is apparent unto me. God going to perform. Listen to it, folks. Jesus is going to perform the thing that's apparent unto you. The thing that God have appointed for you to go through, he's going to perform it. You're going to go through those things. Then God, you're going to fail or you're going to pass. If you fail, you got to go back through it again. But the thing that God have, have appointed for you to do, he's going to perform it. If a tear God got for you to shed, you're going to shed that tear. God ain't going to change it. You're going to shed that tear. If the pain that God, he's with, God let us go through pain. Jesus went through pain. 
But you know what he used to look at? The thing that God got to bring you. We can't think it's strange. We can't wonder why God, why? Lord, why am I going to do this? Why this? Why that? What you do is put our eyes on Jesus and Lord, help me to go through it. Lord, help me to stand the test. He said, for the thing that he performed, he performed the thing that is apparent unto me. God appointed the thing that he has appointed unto me. I'm going to go through them. He's going to perform everything that God has appointed for me, Brother Alton, for you. He's going, he's going to perform that very thing. We don't know what it is, what it all is, but the one thing about it, God got it for you. Thank God you're going to go through it. You're going to experience it somewhere. But you got to keep your eyes on Jesus. Probably said, don't look to the left or don't look to the right. Look straight ahead. We got to look straight ahead. Thank God and don't think it's strange. Don't be wondering why I'm going to listen. But he performed the thing in front of me. Listen. And many say things are with the, that ain't all God took us in. Many say things, many more things God have ordained for to go through. Folk, you're going to go through it. Get ready. Man, good up your lung to go through this stuff. Go through with faith. Say, so God, help me to help me to keep my eye while I hold me while I ride. Now riding through the storm, God, you help me. I don't think it's strange concerning the fire trial. That some strange thing happened to you. But your faith is being tried. You know? You've been tested. These things to test us. And we got to make up our mind. God help us. And I, I'm asking God, God help me. Everything don't seem to be good and pleasure for us, but we got to be willing to go through it. Everything wasn't good and pleasure for Jesus, but he went through it. You know, he carried that old cross about, man, that, that thing about what, 12 or 14 yards? I mean, uh, yeah. About two, but maybe six feet across, that crawl about, about six feet, and the, the baby crossed itself. 12 to 14 feet tall, but he, he went through it. He went through the bad little heavy cross. Then I have a reading that, that that cross about uh, six feet wide. The part they put his arms on is, and other about ten to twelve feet, twelve to fourteen feet high. But he, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He suffered that pain. He went. He went and do it. So he said, "Listen, here. if you suffer with me, you're gonna ring with me. If you go through with me, Jesus never want to complain, and the Lord don't want us complaining." If we complain, say, God, forgive me and help me. But don't think it's strange. Listen, but listen, what up? Uh, this is what James, book of James 1, 1 through 4. Listen, so folks, don't think it's strange. My son, the five are tribes, some of we got to stop. The Bible says they are, they murmur in the wilderness. They murmur in the wilderness, grumbling, complaining. Not the God will feed them. God taking care of them. They murmur and complain. God sustain them through everything we have to go through. We're still here. God is still making provision for us. He had not left us and not forsaken us. So we can't treat God like that. We don't need to treat God like that. The moment and complain at him. Thank God he's, he's too good to us. So we don't even need to stop thinking. And tell the Lord, thank you. The Lord, I'm blessed of you. I'm blessed by you. This is what James 1 and 1 through 4 said. James, a servant of God, and the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. Listen, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into dire temptation. Listen, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh, your faith is being tried. The Bible says, but the count it all joy when you fall into dire temptation, knowing, thank God, your faith is being tried. Guys, I'm trying your faith. When you fall in the temptation, count it all joy. When you fall in that, that proves you, that, that tries you, that tests you, that purges you, that get all the impurity out of you. He said, count it joy, joy. God couldn't leave us alone. Let, just let us not go through nothing. Thank God when we stand before him, we won't have nothing. But the Bible says, James tells us, count it all joy when you fall in the dive of temptation. So Lord, thank you. Just give me the strength to go through this thing. I thank you, Father. Give me the strength. Lord, to go through. My brother, count it all joy when you fall into dive of temptations. Knowing that this, knowing this, that the trial of your faith work in patience. But let patience have a perfect work 
that ye may be perfect and entire and wanted nothing. Let patience have a perfect work. You run with patience. The Bible said, run with patience. Let be patient in your walk with God. Be patient in your travel with Jesus. Be patient. Run with patience. Think I don't think it's there. Don't start one. Just just get on this road and begin to run it with patience. Say, God, I trust you. As I said, as your heart said, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. So we're going we're gonna to keep our eyes upon you. So you're going to take everything. All we're going to do is look to you and trust you and believe you. Folks, this is what we got to do tonight. Look to Jesus. Put our eyes upon him. and Because you're going to go through. No if and buts about it. You're going to go through stuff. You're going to go through trial. You're going to go through testing. So we don't need to think it's strange. God is purging us. Man, he's molding us. He's making us. God know what it takes for us to get molded and get made. Think they know how to get all this impureness out of us. So we got to do, we got to not think it's strange. We got to run with patience. That God help me do the thing. Oh, God ain't going to change. Man, God ain't going to change the path that he laid out for us. He's not going to change because I begin to cry, because I get, begin to whimper, because I begin to complain. Jesus is not going to change that path that he laid out for me. Man, I'm going to have to suck it up and say, God, give me strength to go through this thing. Give me the mind to go through this thing. God ain't changing. Thank God you know, uh, we can cry, but God, you can cry all you want to. I'm not changing. This is what I got laid up out for you. He said, I'm the good shepherd. I know what you need. I know it's good for you. I'm not changing. This is what's going to make you. This is what's going to click. This is what's going to deliver you. This is what's going to cause you to be on a solid foundation. This is what's going to cause your heart to not be in love with the world and the things of the world. I'm, you got to go this thing. You be purged. Thank God. He said, Count it all joy. Count it all joy. I'm speaking tonight. I shall not be moved. I don't know if I gave you the topic or not, but I'm speaking tonight. I shall not be moved. We sing that song a lot. I do. I shall not be moved. This is the topic of my message tonight. I shall not be moved. Folk, make up your mind that you don't, I don't care, man. Hell or high water. That God ain't going to be moved. I'm going to run with patience, God. You said that we are predestined to be conformed to the image of your son. So you went on to the Lord that if you be far, who can be against us? Lord, I'm going to walk with pace. I'm going to run with pace. I'm going to believe you that you are for me. Then who can be against me? So God, I'm going to stay on this old battlefield. I'm going to stay on this old road. I'm going to stay out here. God, would I be up or down? I'm going to stay out here. I'm not going to think it's strange. I'm going to always exhort you and lift you up. and say, God, you know all things. You know all things. The Bible says, listen to uh, James said, listen to Count it all joy, folks, when you fall into divers temptation. Because your, your faith is being tried. Your faith is being tested. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith, what well, get patient. Man, when we go through stuff, that causes patience. We go through the trying of your faith, what get patience. God have to try our faith in our faith, but it, it, it brings about patience when we believe. Wait on God. You know, the Bible said, man, he, the Bible said in 40, I waited patient on the Lord. I, I'm going to skip down to that right there. I'm going to go to, well, no, let me go on to, uh, I'll get down to that. Let me go to uh, Deuteronomy. Listen. Run with patience. I hope you're here tonight. Run with patience. Man, this phrase that is set before you. Looking unto Jesus, the art and the finish by faith. Be not moved. Listen to Deuteronomy 8. Thank you, Father. Oh, don't you love him? Deuteronomy 8, verses up. Verses 2, listen. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these forty years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thine heart, whether thou would keep his commandment or not. God said, listen here. I'm going to prove you. To know you. To know what's in your heart. Them 40 years, he, he proved the children is To know what's in their heart. He let them went home, but he turned around and fed them. But he's going to find out. 40 years, he's going to find out what was in there. He said, I'm going to let you go through this stuff to find out what's in your heart. Whether you're going to love me or whether you ain't going to. God going to allow us to go through stuff to see what we're going to love him. We're going to cleave to him. 
in the midst of trials, in the midst of testing. God's going to allow us to go through stuff and it ain't going to change. You may well get ready, get up your lawn, roll up your sleeve, roll up your pants leg. Thank God and get ready to go through. If God's going to find out what's going ain't, ain't nothing, nothing to find getting into the kingdom of heaven. He said, I'm going to know what's in your heart. God's going to know what's in our heart. Just one thing for sure. You know, they try to be able to sneak in. You know, they try to sneak in that marriage. But it didn't have a wedding garment on. Didn't have a robe on. Didn't have a wedding garment on. And the, and the, and the one that, put, that furnished the wedding said, how did you get in there, friend? Not having a wedding garment on. Let me tell you, we're going to have a garment on. We're going to have a gun. We're going we're gonna to be clothed with the Spirit of God. We're going to be clothed with the faith of God. We're going to be clothed with the love of God. We're going to be clothed with the pace of God. Man, we're going to be clothed with the Spirit, with the fruit of the Spirit. Jesus, before you get in here, thank God, you have my Spirit. You're going to have my Spirit before you get in here. You're going to have my, my, my patience, my love, my long suffering. I'm going to clothe you, but I'm going to try you first. I'm going to try you. I'm going to find out what's in your heart. I'm going to find out what's in your heart. Listen. So, tonight I encourage you to stop complaining. Don't mum it and grumble. Stop complaining and let, tell the Lord, thank you. Begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. For, forgive me for complaining. Forgive me for mumbling and grumbling. Lord, forgive me for that. Yeah. And start thanking the Lord, I thank you. I look back on my life, Lord, you've been nothing but good to me. you blessed me. You've been nothing good to me, and I thank you for it. So we won't make it strange. Because the thing God has prayed, you can perform. The thing he has prayed unto you, you're going to go through it. Not, I'm not going to go through what you got to go through. You're going to go through that thing yourself. God said he performed it. And many, many other things the Bible says. But you're going through now, that ain't all. You keep living on this on this earth, you're going to, there's other stuff. Thank God you're going to, they're going to challenge you. But you've got to pass the test. You got to put your eyes on Jesus. Jesus, you help me to go through this stuff. It's rough. But God, you help me to go through it. You told him you have overcome the world. But Lord, you help me to go through it. Listen, I shall not be moved. Tell that devil, the devil, I will not be moved. I shall not be moved from the faith of Jesus Christ. From the faith of the gospel, I will not be moved. I believe that God's going to be with me. I believe he's there. Help me tell that devil. Listen, I, I, look at the Hebrew boys. I mean, uh, uh, the uh, 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 Hebrew boys. Are listen here, God's gonna deliver us. I believe God's gonna deliver. They're gonna throw me in there. He said, listen here. If he don't deliver, we ain't gonna bow. This is what we got to tell that devil. That we ain't gonna bow. If God don't deliver, we ain't gonna bow. But they went on and said, but God will deliver. Thank God. God gonna get us in play what we won't say. That he's gonna deliver. He's gonna help us. He's gonna help us. This is Romans. Tell that devil, the devil ain't by. Man, tell the devil ain't by. Not in yourself. I mean, you don't stand. Sometimes we stand and speak bold like Peter stood up and said, Well, I ain't going to deny you. I mean, I ain't going to. Uh, I'll be right there. People speaking in themselves, but when we speak in the Holy Ghost, the Bible says we acknowledge God in all of us. God, you help me. I, I, I won't deny you. I won't betray you. I'll stand for you if you would be my strength, if you would be my help, if you would be my God. I will not deny you. If you take hold of me and help me, lead me through these trials, lead me through these, these situations, I will not deny, I will not bow. I stand for you, stand for you, as, as long as you help me. And God says, I'll be with you, as long as you for me, I'll be for you. Folks, this, 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 you know, we ain't strong by ourselves, we strong in God. We got to put our faith and trust in God. Listen to Romans 5. Romans 5. Romans 5, verses 1 through 3. Listen. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into the grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Listen. And not only so, but we listen to this. But we glory in tribulation also. Pause the But we glory in tribulation. So we glory in the thing that we, we we got access to God through Jesus Christ. He said, therefore, we glory in tribulation. 
Paul said, we're not mumming, we're not complaining, but we are glory in tribulation. We are glory in the thing that God has set because we know we got access to God through the faith that said we glory in tribulation. That tribulation, that we, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that what? Tribulation, what can pay the Paul said, my God, I glory in tribulation because I know that Tribulation, working patient. Things gonna be going through stuff, Paul. So I know everything I have to go through is gonna is working. It bring it patient. So I glory in this. That's gonna give me patience. I glory in this. That's gonna make me be steadfast. I glory in this. That's gonna have me to be unmovable. I glory in this tribulation thing that's making me that's moving. That, you know, Paul was uh, uh, beheaded on Nero Chapla. Man, but Paul, that got some. He said, "I glory in tribulation." Thank God. I got access to God through Jesus Christ. So I glory in tribulation. It's called tribulation. Work it. Patience. Tribulation. We go through our trials and test stuff like that. Keep working. Patience. Be not weary and well doing in due season, the Bible says in Galatians. Now, be not weary in. You know, we are well done for in due season. In due season, we're going to reap. Folks, I, I tell you, the, the Bible says it. In due season, we're going to reap if you don't faint. If you don't faint, get a hold of a man of horns of the altar and hold on to them. Say, God, I can't go nowhere, but I'm just going to hold on to you. I'm going to cleave to you. God, you know me. You know my mind. You know my desire. I'm just going to cleave to you. I, I can't look like I can't advance forward, but God, don't let me go back. Lord, if I can't go forward, just let me stand still. Just give me a good hold of this, this rope of the kingdom of God and not let me hold on. And you help me while I'm trying to hold on. You be there for me. But tell God, said, God, I will not be removed. You know, like that Syrophoenician Greek woman. She refused, but Jesus denied her. And Jesus called her a dog. She said, that's all right. You can call me anything you want to. I know that you got the goods. You can say anything about me. You can talk about me. You can call me a dog, but I know that you got the good. And I'm not leaving here until you do something for me. I'm not leaving here until you bless me. Jacob told that angel, listen here, you can bless me. You can bless me. Jacob wrapped that angel all night, and, and, and he told that angel, you can bless me. The angel let me go. And I got the son Jesus. I don't care what, Jacob said, I don't care what's coming up. Man, you can bless me. And I'm not letting you go. Jacob said, I ain't going to be removed. Thank God, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to hold on to you. I thank God. And I'm letting, letting you go. This is what we got to do, Jesus. I'm going to hold on to you, whether you can see it or not. But we can see, get, you, you get a hold of Jesus and cleave to him. And say, God, help me have your mind made up. And we're going to be steadfast. Now, you may not look like you're progressing in it, but thank God, hold on to what you got. And say, so I shall not be removed. I ain't going to be moved, God. And I'm not going to think it's strange. God, I'm going to put it my lung. I'm going to go through the thing with your help, I'm going to go through the thing that you got ordained for me to go through. You're going to perform the thing you are praying under me. And God help me to stay with you while I'm going through what I'm going through. So, folks, you're going to go through stuff. That's, you can't give up and faint because you're going through stuff. You're going to do trial. You can't give up. Man, you can't think it's strange. God said, he got all, he got the, man, he, look, this is the path that he has set out for. And he tells us to run with patience. Just raise. Looking under Jesus, folks. Ah, in the fence of our, our faith. Listen. Listen but Psalms. Man, Psalm 40. Thank you, Father. Oh, don't you love me? Psalm 40. Verses of 1, 2, 3. David said, I waited patiently for the Lord and inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of harbor pit, out of the mighty clay, and set my feet up on the rock, and the sky of my gun. Listen. And he had put a new song in my mouth, even the praise unto God. The days I waited on the Lord, patiently. He heard my cry. He said, put a new song in my mouth. Thank God, days it is there. He put a new song in my mouth. And we are waiting on God. Right? No thing is saying God going to put a new song in my mouth. We won't be saying no more, can God. We'll say, God can. God will. You say, can God. God, I'm putting a new song in your mouth. 
and we are running with patience, waiting on him. We're we going we to be saying, oh Lord, can God? We're going to say, God can. God will. God's going to. He put a new song in our mouth. Because we go through what we're going through with patience. We don't think it's strange. Now, we're being kept through the thing that we go through is being kept by God. Now, our new song, our new word, our new speech is, God can. We won't be no longer saying, can God? Can God? No, we're going to say, God can. God will. God is going to do it. And God's going to deliver me. The Bible says in the Roman way that the word where is not be even in our mouth. That word of faith will be preached. That word is in our mouth. Thank God. And, and, and God tells us that, 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 that when we go before God, take word with us. The word is in our mouth. God can. Can God? Listen to what he said. He'll put a new song in my mouth. He put a new song in my mouth. Even the praise unto our God. This is the praise under that God can. When we used to complain, say, can God? Can God do it? Can God do it? God said, look at I'm putting up, I'm, man, I'm putting you on a rock. I'm going to stab your gun. I'm putting you out of the market clay. And I'm going to stab your gun. I'm going to put a new word in your mouth. I'm going to put a, 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 a new song in your mouth. We're not going to be complaining and mumbling and say, oh, can God do it? Can God? We're going to say, God can. God will. And God is going to do it. A new song. And we don't mum and complain. That we don't think it's strange. Man, that we run with patience. Thank God this raid that God has said before. Let me tell you, this is going to come to pass. It's going to, it's going to happen for us. The Bible says we are more than conquerors. To him, the more than conquerors. Great is he that is in us. We are more than conquerors. To him that love us. We are well able. Thank God we are well able. We are well able. Folk, we are well able to possess the land. We will able to possess the kingdom of God. And we just got to reach out. We can't complain. We can't think it's strange. I'm praying. I was, I was praying to myself. God, I'm, I'm praying for myself. Like I'm praying for other people. I am. As God, help me, help me not to think it's strange. I'm trying to get myself in a place. And I said, God, just help me to begin to look upon you. Put my eyes upon you. And stop. Don't worry about the situation. Because sometimes the devil try to bring situations in your life, in your Thank God to uh, uh, make you get your eye. But I said, God, just let me be totally for you. Let my mind be totally for you. Let my will, let my desire, let my faith, let my trust be totally in you. Blot out everything else, God. Don't let me think it's strange. Thank God we think, well, we saved me this. And then we think, well, why this happened to me? Why God? Because we say, uh-uh, God is molding us and making us. And I said, I pray, Jesus, help us to be steadfast, unmovable, always folk bound in the work of the Lord. You can put a new song. David said, I waited patient for the Lord. But we got to wait with patience for the Lord. And he'll do it. He said, do it, Terry. Her back said, do it, Terry. Wait on it. He says, it's coming. He said, the minute it's going to come, it's going to come, it's going to speak, and it ain't going to tarry. David said, I waited patient on the Lord. And he inclined his ear under me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the mire clay. And he set my feet up on a rock, and he established my gun. He had put a new song in my mouth, even the praise of God. We're going to stop complaining. We're going to stop mumming. He's going to put a new song and put a praise under him. God, thank you. Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I love you. Lord, I respect you. I acknowledge you. I confess you. You're going to put a new, you're all this complaining, mumming. All the things are, oh God, why I have to go through? Why I got to go through? Why? God's the man. We'll wait on him. He's going to put our foot up on the rock. We're going to stab that gun. He's going to put a new song in our mouth. And I'm asking God, help me to be willing to wait. Help me to be willing to run with patience. Just raid. Thank God. I believe God got great things out there for us. Man, that we are cleave to him and hold on to him. You know, don't mumble when we got to go through something. Just a mumble and man, God say, he may, I know what's best for you. I know how to make you. I know what it takes to sustain you. you know? I know what it takes to sustain you. So don't think it's strange. Man, these, these child is to make us. It's to help us. It's to strengthen. God said, man, I got a people. I got a people that I'm going to make. I got a people that are going to be made. You know, John saw a number came out of great tribulation. They ain't got rolled. They, they didn't complain. 
came out great triple A. The Bazaar with joy with exceeding joy. With joy with exceeding joy. Thank God. God look, he, he, he's the same. He, he, he's not a weak God. He had not diminished in power. God has not diminished in authority. But we, we just got to praise that God help me. Help me to stand on your word. Look, I'm trying to stand on God's word. It's a fight. Yes, it's a fight, but I win the fight. Do the devil talk to him? Yes, he talked to him, but I win the fight. I'm willing to ask God, God, help me to stand. I'm willing to acknowledge him. But God, you help me to stand. I believe your word. I believe it's ever seven in heaven. I believe it ain't going to be this another. I believe it ain't going to be changed. I believe it don't lie. God, you help me to stand through every trial. Through every test, through every tribulation, through every persecution, God, you help me to stand the thing. Don't let me be thinking strange. But to know that you're in control. Know that Jesus is in control. David said, I waited patiently on the Lord. And he inclined his ear to me, heard my cry. Brought me up out of harbor pit, folks. Status my God. Look, this is a promise we got. He hears your cry. He's going to bring up out of that situation that you're going to bring you out. David said, listen this. Man, he heard my cry. I waited patiently, but he heard my cry. Brought him up out of horrible pit. He brought me up out of that stuff that I was in. And had me, had me sink down. He said, brought me up out of horrible pit. And he stabbed my gun. Jesus is going to bring us up out of this horrible pit that we're in. And we are rough and patient. If you don't think it's strange, don't complain. Don't mumble saying, where is God? Where is God? God, I'm down here. I'm in this. I'm in that. Where, where are you? David said, man, he heard my cry. I waited praying. He heard my cry. And he brought me up out of the harbor pit. And he established my going. He put a new song in my mouth. Put me up on a foot up on a rock. God's going to bring us up and we'll continue with him. Stay with him. He's going to bring us out of this place where we're at. Thank God. We, this just the trial of my faith. Working faith. Our faith is on trial. That's God have mercy up on my soul. And help me. Believe me, me. Believe you me. God, the devil, he tries me. The devil, he talks. The devil, he harasses me every day. But you know what? I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved. With the grace of God, I shall not be moved. This devil harasses you every day. Talk to you. But you know what? The Lord going to bring us up out of this old pit. Thank God. And he's going to give us joy again. Thank God. I believe that. Man, if I don't, I don't believe that, man, if the Paul said we, uh, man, if we most miserable, man, we, we are most miserable. We don't have hope in this life. We have all been most miserable. Listen. Because you're going through stuff, don't think it's strange. Don't complain. You know? God, he's in control. The Bible says eyes in every place. Every place. There's eyes in every place. You know what you know what you're going through. You're not out there alone. You're not going through things by yourself. You're never alone. Jesus is there with you. And he's going to see you through this. But we just, you know, Psalm 34 and 19, so with many are the affliction of the righteous. Psalm 34, verse 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous. But what happened? God delivers out of them all. Oh, do you hear this? Do you hear this? Many are the affliction of the righteous, but God delivers out of them all. Are you hearing what he says here? We got many affliction, but God delivers us out of them all. We are going to be delivered. We are going to be delivered. God delivers us out of every one of them. We are going to be delivered. Many are your fixing. The thing that God have a prayer on us, he's going to perform this stuff. And many are such things more that God got. But he said he's going to deliver us out of them all. Man, you cleave to God. Stay with Jesus. Somebody said, what you saying? I'm saying with God. I said, listen, he said, I'm going to leave. I'm going to say that I'll be with you all week, even to the ends of the world. My strength is made perfect in weakness. My grace is sufficient for you. If I be for you, who can be against you? You've been predestinated. Thank God. Look, I, I don't care what you go through. If you've been predestined to be conformed, and I, I want to be conformed into the image of Jesus. I want to be conformed to have his mind, have his thought. I pray every day, God, put your mind in me. Put your spirit in me. Give me your attribute. Let me let me be as you are. I ask God. I know I'm a long way off, but I still ask Him, and I really thank Him and appreciate him for the thing that He has done for me. And He's giving me help. All the other stuff we still got to shake off, but God's gonna shake them off too. Thank God. When He get through, we'll be coming at the Bible. When He get through, we'll be coming as pure gold. 
We've been tried in the fire, but when he got when he got get done, Joe, Joe, when he get done, I'm coming for this gold. You know the step that I take. Man, but when he get done with me, he said, I'm coming for as pure gold. Listen, Joe. Joe 14. You know, I'm gonna be getting ready to let you go in just a minute. I appreciate you for bad along with me. Listen, don't complain. Don't think it's strange because you're going through stuff. We all going through stuff. Man, you ain't alone. You ain't nothing alone. Jesus, Jesus in, in the with you. You unify Jesus. I'll be in the fire with you. I'll be in the flood with you. He was in the fire with the Hebrew children. He was in the lion den with them. But you're not in that thing alone. For whatever you're going through, listen, learn, learn to give him thanks. Learn to give him praise. Learn to bless the Lord. Look what Job, look what Job 14 and 14 say. If a man die, shall he live again? Though they, uh, Job said, all the days, all the all the day of my appointed time, I will wait till my chain come. Job said, all the day, uh, it's read back over where he said that, that God performed the thing that appointed unto me. Job telling us here, all the days of my appointed time, I'm going to wait till my chain come. Both wait until your chain come. All that thing that God had praying, Job said, man, this has been praying unto me, but I'm waiting for a change. Job believed God that that was a change would come. He didn't know how or when, but he knew a change was going to take place. He knew when he was going to stay like that. He didn't know he was going to be restored, all, all of the animals and stuff like that, but he knew a change was going to happen. And these are all about praying that all the time that God have a praying for me, the thing that God have praying for me to go through, he said, I'm going to wait until my change comes. Folk, you got to wait till your change comes. There's a change coming. You wait on it. And he's going to turn that morning into laughter, laughter, and joy. All my point of time. I'm going to wait till my chain come. Hope there's a change coming. We pray God's going to man suspend them. And by the day that wait upon the Lord shall renew thy strength. It's your man with wings as eagles. You run not be with you walking. And I think, listen, wait on God. Stop the complaining. Stop thinking it's strange. And started giving God thanks. So, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. I appreciate you, Jesus. Lord, the, the, the trial that I'm going through, thank you for taking me through. Thank you for being with me in, in my trial. In the time of my trial, thank you. He told us that in some, I'll be with you. Name one, I'll be, I, I'll be with you. Even in trouble, I'll be with you. I'll be with you. So start to thank him, give him thanks. Start to pray and say, Lord, thank you. <laughs> I'm praying for myself too. I try not to complain and try not to murmur, but there'll be times, you know, God, man, I may be not saying the right thing, but I try not to complain. I, I try to always be thankful. There's one word that stays in my mouth all the time. It's, Lord, thank you. Even when I ain't praying, I say, Lord, thank you. It comes to me, Lord, thank you. Sometimes my mind goes on to that, Lord, thank you. He was just waking up, Lord, thank you. He was just looking at, looking at the day and things out there. I said, Lord, thank you. That's a word that stays in my mouth constantly. Lord, thank you. So we start giving God thanks. And I pray that he hears. I pray that work. I pray that help me to find favor in him to start giving him thanks all the time. We try everything that, you know, we need to get God. The Bible says in Luke 21, 19, in your patience possesses you your soul. Well, so listen. Don't think it's strange concerning the fire trial that you're going through. Because everything that God, and I'm going to give me a little go, everything that God has a prayer unto you, he's going to perform. You go through the fire. If you got a few prayer to go through the fire, brother, sister, you're going through that fire. Ain't no way around it. You're going to go through that fire. You are going to be molded and made. God's going to find out what's in our hearts. And I, I like that. I want God to find out what's in my heart. I hate to stand before him and say, depart from me, you work of a nigga. I don't know you. But I want Jesus today to find I want to get every hatred out of my heart. Every spirit. Every enemy. Every jealousy. Every dick vision. Every spirit that ain't of God. I want him to take that out of my heart and, God, and put his spirit in me. Man, put his... Attributes in me, put his love in me, put everything that he is, 
put it in me. The Bible said, as he is, so are we in this world. I just got to help me to get that. Listen, I'm not fooling around, folks. I want God to put his spirit in me. I don't want to hate the spirit. I don't want to judge the spirit. I don't want to criticize the spirit. I don't want to, I, I just want, God, I just want you to possess my, everything we have to go through, thing that we don't understand, God, give me your understanding. Let me look to you. Let me call upon you. Let me believe you. Lord, as you did the Father. You know, Jesus, he called on the Father all the time. Father. This is what I'm asking God for. Look, I, I'm not fooling around with this stuff. You know, are you perfect? No, I'm not perfect. I ain't playing around with this stuff. I want God to look. I, I have no desire for nothing else. You know, but Jesus Christ to deliver me. And I'm with the God. I had the mind of Jesus every day, all day long, but I don't have it. But I'm still asking for it. I'm still believing. I'm going to receive it. Holy Father, Master of Heaven, I pray that this word reaches out to maybe people who don't, don't listen to this, but your people, just basically for your people tonight, Christian people that are trying to be Christian, just fight and fight. God, I, I, this is where it goes out to them. And maybe some sinner that they be here and God, that they're turning to you. But God, I, Help us to not think it's strange. God, I know we're going through a lot of things. You told us that many were our affliction, but you also promised that you were going to deliver us out of them all. Many of our affliction. Oh, Lamb of God, we pray that you just don't leave. You say you wouldn't leave us. David said, if I make my bed in hell, you're there. We walk through this valley of shadow death. You fear no evil because you're there. You're with them. God, be with us in our trials. Be with us in everything. You know how the devil come up on us. You say he was the most subtle beast of the field. He's trickery. He's deceitful. He tried to come in on the well. And God be with us in that time. Let our eyes be open. Let our hearts be open. Let our understand. Let our love be there. Let our faith be there. God to stay with you. And not to yield to the device of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for myself as I pray for other people. God, all the prayer requests. But we pray. Know that you honor, that you move, and that you answer them. In the name of Jesus, God, move for our nation, God, I pray. Move for these cities, these wicked cities. Violence, God, I pray. Lord, I pray in this morning. I thought about, I thought God help. I thought about that little good baby that got shot in the head. The little few months old baby shot in the head. God, I ask the Lord have mercy upon the people. Lord, I begin to reach out to you for my children, grandchildren, and the, and the people that go to our church and their relatives. God, that you shield and protect people in their homes. Now, bullets going through your home. God, in the name of Jesus, I, reached, I felt, God, I said, God, have mercy upon your people, Lord, wherever you may be. Sustain them. Keep them covered with your blood. Lord, let them give you thanks and praise you. Lord, just when the praises goes up, they got to say when the praises goes up, the blessing come down. Lord, we thank you tonight for keeping us and sustaining us. Always continue to be that fence about us. And she and protect them. While these are out on the road, they're going to their jobs and having to take care of business. And God, will you keep them covered with your blood and hidden? Violence is everywhere. And I'm asking you, Lamb of God, that you would keep them shielded and protected. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Praise God. We appreciate the Lord tonight. I thank God for you. We appreciate your prayer. And be praying that this word of God that goes out. You know, we ain't got a whole bunch of listeners like um, some of these big minutes, but if God just a, a give the increase that, that we speak, those that hear, that it be a strength to know. And we can't give up. We got to keep on pushing. We got to keep striving. You know, we can't, we can't turn around. Got to keep running the race with patience, looking to Jesus, who is the author and the fans of our faith. We appreciate it. Thank God for the weekend, sir. Thank God for the Thanksgiving, sir. We, we really appreciate those that are helping us out. We want to ask God to bless you and sustain you. We keep praying for all the churches. We always keep all the churches up in prayer every day. You know, so we call them by name. We call all you by name. All of you. We call you by name. They're not all church, but don't affiliate with us. We know we call you all by name to God. And he will bless you. That he sustain you. He'll put within you that, that you need to keep going on. Keep, and don't turn from him. You know, Keep your eyes upon him. Thank God. Don't, don't look to position, the prosperity of clout. Don't look at that stuff. Just run with your eyes up on Jesus. God, you know me. You know what I'm trying to do. And God will help you. I appreciate the Lord tonight. I thank God for you. I want you to be encouraged tonight. Thank God. And keep your eyes up on Jesus. Keep running with 
patient. Just pray that God has that before you. We appreciate it. Thank God for you. We'll see you um, the weekend if God says the same. God bless you. May he keep you in peace and safety and your family. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank, thank God for it. We appreciate the Lord.